Guys, a beautiful Tuesday morning. Hope you're doing great. Here with a very special guest, Chef Tilly. What's up? Chef Tilly is a really great chef, a friend of the business and of our family. And she has graciously accepted my invitation to come in this morning to do some easy stuff following a big weekend for a lot of you. I'm thinking if we're sitting on the porch and I can look at my bride and say, we're not cooking tomorrow night. Just go buy salt water. And they'll have like a $20 meal for us ready to rip. I'm going to say thank you. <laughs> right? Yes. That's what we're doing for you today. So before we get started, Chef Tilly, will you tell the folks a little bit about yourself? What they, where they can find you? Sure. I am Chef Tilly. I am actually um, a personal chef in Charlotte and do specialty in, specialty in dinner parties and meal prep, in-home meal prep for several people. I um, can be found at ChefTilly.com or at Chef Tilly on social media or wherever. And um, yeah, love what I do. I love cooking. Your dishes always look so pretty. Thank so, you. so pretty. Thank you. I, I love fresh ingredients and truly believe that um, seasonal is the best way to go. That's why I love Saltwater Market. They always have the freshest fish and ingredients. So the best groceries. Well, yeah. absolutely. That's Our what goal we're is to share to the best. So listen, right in front of you, we're going to prep uh, an example of each of these. I don't know anything. I've just been given some clues. Chef Tilly is going to direct me. I'm going to do some prep. She's going to do some prep. You guys are going to get to watch it all live. You dig it? We're down. Let's go. All right. So quick recap. Chef Tilly, she's being very humble, but she is a private chef to the stars of these communities in which we serve. She's really the real thing. And it's cool for me. Because since my broker days, I don't get to hang out with folks like you anymore. And so I'm harking back to a time of sitting on the uh, Bellagio uh, steps, the fountains of Picasso. It's going to be great. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, tell me what we're doing first. All right, first we are going to make a stuffed cod. It's a roulade in French. Roulade just means rolled up and stuffed. Um, and we're going to wrap it in prosciutto. And um, the stuffing is what we're going to get started on. So, All right. um, Clint, I'm going to have you rip up some of this bread. How you want to cut, Chef? Just rip it into little pieces. All right, I can do that. How about like right? panzanella size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see there, I got words too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. All right, Elizabeth told me, do I need to glove up now? You're okay with your you black sure? fingernails. It's epoxy. It ain't coming off. I'm not God. <laughs> <laughs> some really do some of us might be. <laughs> I really live the fisherman's life on the weekend. Okay. You listen to the cure. I know you do. Oh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so we're making, it's just going to be a basic stuffing with um, shallot, garlic. The shallot, um, when you're looking for a shallot, you want to make sure it doesn't have um, like a soft, you want it to be firm when you squeeze it. And this one is. So good job. Very good. <laughs> I didn't pick these out. So we're just going to cut this into a rough dice, okay? And just one shallot should be good for um, about four servings. So this will this will give you about four servings, unless if you want to do more, just you know, do your math and add accordingly. So um, then we're going to go ahead after we just rough, rough, rough dice. Okay, get the paper out of there. Then we're gonna take your garlic. Same thing with the garlic, you wanna make sure it's firm. If there's black around here, that means it's mold. This is not mold, oh. that's dirt. So you want to make sure you have a nice clean, clean clove of garlic. And the beautiful thing about, you know, kitchen gadgets. Yeah. I love kitchen, I love a good kitchen gadget. But this one's kind of my go-to. Oh, I have one of those you and I've never used it. Actually, you can crushed garlic with the skin with the on. paper yeah with the what? skin on so how many people didn't know that you didn't have to skin the garlic i, I bet you that. like 90 percent of people didn't know that no when you're clue. in the kitchen and you're cooking for you know 20 people for a dinner party you gotta say you, you need know, the tricks time. yeah <laughs> so see that it just all comes off in the garlic press so i love that worry about it now. so when we started when we first started our catering business i spent like an hour a week on the phone with old chefs that were friends, like, how do I make this easier? Gotta I'm learn the you tricks. What, kitchen gadget away. I must say you did a great job on the bread, I'm sweetie. killing that. Nice. You did. So, remind people, they're not just watching a cooking show. <laughs> we're cooking it for, well, we're prepping it for you to take home. Yep. And eat, basically. That's exactly right. Fire and eat. So, um, just throw that in there. Yeah. And, okay. we're gonna use some olive oil. I know 
show you guys sell this incredible olive oil. It's one of my absolute favorites. Oh, I it love, has love very it. Very herby, tomatoey. It's like summertime. I'm not gonna look at it without sniffing it. It's so good. Yeah. Got, I knew you were gonna have to be. I've got ideas, babe. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then we're gonna use um, some tarragon in the stuffing. Little chives. I'm gonna chop up if you want to do that. Oh you yeah, can do. Use my knife. How fine you want it, chef? <laughs> um, just just a rough dice. It's okay. fine. It's a stuffing, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Is so, this where I can say chiffonade? You can say chiffonade. I'd like to. That's a good, that's a good word. <laughs> chiffonade. Chiffonade means ribbons. How many fingers ribbons. do you want in here? <laughs> no fingers. No fingers. No no fingernails. No fingers, please. <laughs> Unless you're into that kind you of thing. You want the stalks? <laughs> Jeff Dahmer thing. Um. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do them. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Just All like right, let's yep, go. That's good. All let's right, go. and so, and then this, ship and all that. Okay, let's go. So that's spinach. So you got spinach. Yeah, you got spinach. And then, um. So this is for, for some of our, um. Gastonia crowd, chiffonade as you roll it up real tight. Like a cigarette. I'm just kidding. That's back in the 90s, <laughs> Gastonia. It's classed up now. <laughs> uh, it was a distasteful joke, wasn't it? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, sorry. All right, that's good. And then we're going to add a little warm water in here to kind of get it all married together. Oh, that smells really great. And then this is another kitchen gadget that saves me from having purple tunnel, and it's just a pepper mill. And you hit the button. <laughs> what? No, no button. You, you just, just turn it over. You charge it. And you just, and you can come, isn't that amazing? It's just okay. in different types of, you know. I love it. Love, love. Got a little salt. Got to have salt. Salt of the earth. I know you guys saw that amazing Maldon sea salt. Too. Oh, That's yeah. Really the station's stuff. clean again, chef. All right. <laughs> thank you. And then you just mix it up. Get it nice. And if you, it's going to be an herby stuffing. It smells so good. It does. And I believe, I truly believe in the fewer ingredients, the better. You don't have to, you don't need fillers and things like that. You just need fresh, good ingredients. And that bread is good, too. You guys sell that bread, don't you? We, we do. do. I got you a wet towel there, too, Chef. Thank you very much. Of course. So then, I'm going to have you grab the cod. Cod, all right. Oh, my cod. So the cod, I, I have to. Yeah. The yeah. cod is jig cod, beautiful, Boston. I would put it on a family portrait. Really pretty, nice and clear. And what Chef will tell you is when you're looking at certainly a soft fish like cod, you're looking for it to have some bounce, some clarity, and best case scenario, you'll get a little fat, which will drag on the knife. I really want to cut it, but I'm going to wait until she tells me how. Right. Well, you know, and the smell. You know, yes. It just smells yes. like sweet. It doesn't have that fishy smell, of course. That means it's fresh. That's how you know when you walk in the door of fish market. Here. If it, yes. You smell, smell no fish. No fishy smell. Um, also, my other favorite gadget that I use. I do use, use my time, lemon squeezer. All the time. You gotta have a little lemon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've only got one to work with. <laughs> That's, true. That's, That's the worst when I'm driving and get a squirt like that. Especially what? in the Game good over. eye. In the good eye? Yeah, that's not oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, from like a soda or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. a lot of <laughs> Smells wonderful. You're a lemony fresh. Okay, so then um, what we're going to do, I already kind of laid this out. Yeah. I love prosciutto. Repair gonna... does a dish like this with black cod and shaved potatoes. Yes, he does. I love Eric Repair. He's amazing. Yeah, he's he, that's a. It's your show, list. chef. You can say never heard of her. This is true. I can't. All right. So um, what we're gonna do is go ahead and we're gonna put a little. Okay. Sort of like a. Um, I guess like a little sausage. Okay. Is that what you want? Yeah. You want me to open it up? Sausage. Yeah, uh, you can a little bit. Yeah, that'd okay. be great. Butterfly it. I trained for this. <laughs> I want to impress you here. He's, he's, he's butterflying it. I am. So we're just going to get a little access for Chef, yep. who is graciously allowing me to keep my hands out of the stuffing. And there you, you don't really, you don't need to, um, you don't need to pound it or anything like that. That's okay. For sure. it's, it's fine the way it is. So you just want to stuff it in that little 
canal, I guess. The canal. It can be a canal. canal. The groove. The little moat. It is. <laughs> Yeah, and you just kind of, it's like making little sausages. You just do that. This is really nice. I think I'm going to douse myself in lemon juice every morning. It's like a refreshing vibe I'm carrying around with me. Better than Irish Spring. It's great. <laughs> uh, that is eau de lemon. Eau de, eau de um, so you don't, really, you don't have to salt your cod for this because you're going to wrap it in prosciutto. And the prosciutto is already salty, so you don't have to over-salt it. That makes it super healthy, right? And so okay. you're just going to kind of... Screw that up. Take Wrap that. it there. Diagonal is key. Yeah. And we get more real estate that way. Yeah, and it won't have the seam all in one place. See, you just do that. Like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're making sushi. Yeah, that's it. That and is that's fabulous. easy, right? Yeah. Yes. That's it. That's it. So, how am I going to take this home? How? What's my portion size that I'm going to get? Yeah, so and we'll how do, do I cook it? I'm going to take, I'll let Chef tell you how to cook yeah. it. But I'm going to take, actually, I want to guess how to cook it. And then you tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get out of these. We're going to send you home with nice, generous eight ounce portions, you know, more than probably you would get in a restaurant. So we cut this into thirds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eight oh. metal pieces. Yes. yes. And that's what you're going to get. So each of those are apportioned. Love it. And so, Chef, my guess would be you're going in like a close to 400 degree oven, yep. you're 20 ish minutes. 375. 375. 375. Uncovered. Don't cover it. Because um, and you can actually, if you wanted to, you could sear it in a cast iron first. Um, if you sear it in cast iron, you get the crispy prosciutto on the outside, cool. and then you stick the cast iron in the oven, and you're good to go. Okay. Nice. It's not. It's not gonna be long. Um, this actually will keep it nice and moist. Okay. On, on the inside. So. It's a killer dinner. strategy because you're, you know, you're, you're basically allowing crispy on the outside. You're frying on the outside and steaming on the inside. You got. A little best of everything. I'm excited. And then we're gonna what we want to do here. Do you want to put it on here? Yeah, sure. Um, it will be served with. It's a tomato compote. Okay. So it'll come with that. And all you do for a tomato compote is you don't even have to like chop these. You just put them. I mean, I'll, they'll be in the pan. So they roast with so it. So they'll roast with it. And in the um, cast iron, they'll blister first. So yes. it'll get nice and like all the juices will be released. Right. Love and it. then I like a little bit of spice. Not everybody likes spice. I like some spice. These are just um, chili flakes. I like it. Okay, and then a little bit of vinegar for the tomatoes. A splash of vinegar makes a huge difference in all that. Any roasting dish. Yes. Yes, and yes, then yes. That, that'll be a, sort of like a compote. Um, and you can put more herbs on it if you want to put a little basil or something like that, but you don't really need to. Even a couple cloves of garlic in there. Very oh, cool. Roasty garlic. Yeah. Good. I'm yeah. super excited about that one. All right. I love that. That's a high five. <laughs> yes. All right. You're going to be able to get this in all three markets. Right now, our GMs, we've got, we've got like Debbie went to CIA. We've got Chef Dylan working in Gastonia. Our crew here is living with me, so all day long we're fooding it up. Right now, they are frantically making this for you. You can come in right now, and there'll be somebody who'll bang it out for you. We're going to be offering that in all three markets. But now we've got to do the trout. Yes. Yeah, so if you would like some of this, if you would like a portion or two of that, just shoot us a message, and we'll stash you one. Or just get in here. Get in here now. All right. We right. places? No, we don't have to. Uh, we don't have to. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So we're stuffing the trout. Now we're stuffing the trout. Are you? Are you? I was supposed to put the gloves on. Have they accepted that I have epoxy on my fingers? You no. Know, one person asked if you painted your nails, and I just went bit. with it. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. We got away with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Halloween yet. Right. Um, all right. So next, we're going to make a saucier, which is called, which is uh, a fancy French salsa. That's right. Let's That's go. Salsa. And it's super, super simple. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do? We cut up a tomato, and we're gonna we're gonna gut the tomato. Gut the tomato. <laughs> so gut you just want it gutted? Yeah, and diced. And diced. And diced. How fine, and chef? Like a brunoise, which means a small dice. So brunoise, yeah. churching it up for me. Yeah. <laughs> brunoise is just a small, tiny dice. You could do a little bit bigger than a brunoise if you want. Um, I do want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lillian. So the first dish that we have ready to go for you to bake, take and bake, yeah, um, Lillian, is the um, prosciutto wrapped stuffed uh, cod. That one is going to be incredible. That's wonderful. I like it. Um, and now she's working on our stuffed trout for you guys. So you're just going to take um, a couple 
of tomatoes. These are beautiful beefsteak tomatoes. You can use aromas, you can use your garden tomatoes, you can use cherry tomatoes. Yeah, Just but beefsteak nice. is a much better, that's my rap name. I don't know if you knew. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was silky smooth, but I gained weight. <laughs> silky smooth. Oh, man. You didn't know? Silky smooth beefsteak. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> well, we are in the kitchen. These yeah. are nice and acidic. You can smell. That's what I like oh, yeah. about a beef yeah. steak. Yeah, I like a good beef steak too. They're great with caprese, aren't they? They are. Caprese salad. Crazy with caprese. That's right. So, um, two, about two beef steak. I'm just gonna do one and a half. You're already done then? Yeah. Sorry. Well, that's okay. It's good. It's good. It is. Well, I want to impress you, so I'm trying to do a fine dice, even though it's not what you asked for. You know that guy in the kitchen who? takes too long and tries to impress you and doesn't do what you asked him to do? Yeah. That's me today. <laughs> I know that guy. <laughs> and that guy needs more self-esteem, doesn't he? It's all right. It's all right. You won't cut yourself. Yeah, you don't have to yell at him. You won't give him more self-esteem if you yell at him. No. But what do you do with that guy? <laughs> that guy should open a fish dish market. Duty. Dish duty. <laughs> I don't know. That's a pretty nice dice, Chef. That's a good dice. Good job. It's yeah, going to be a stuffing rubber, so it doesn't have to look perfect. Don't say that, please. <laughs> it's a nice dice. It's perfect. It's okay. perfect dice. Perfect. All right, so this is um, fresh oregano, actually, from my garden that I brought in for you guys, too. And then um, some parsley. And I'm going to have you shipping on this again with the knife. And this is um, basil. I love basil. basil. I love fresh herbs make all the difference. You can use garlic if you want. You're right. I you gotta like we, go through that. Go through that and replace them if you have. Them. I feel like we should stop everything and take a look at my chiffonade. <laughs> it's very pretty. Okay, that goes in the bowl. Goes in the bowl, along with the oregano. You can add a little tarragon in there if you want. It's um, a vierge is just um, tomatoes with herbs, kind of whatever you have on hand. It's kind of like the herbs of Provence. Yes. Um, which I have right here. That is, it depends on where you are in France for that recipe, because it's like if you're in who's, whoever's grandmother's kitchen you're in. It's your, yeah. It's, um, and that has a little bit of um, um, lavender in it. That yeah, that's, yeah, that's what yes. I was going to show you guys. The piece de resistance there it is, right is the, the lavender, lavender. Yeah. In, in most of good herbs de Provence that certainly you get here in yeah. the States. It's good and stuff. You know, my high school French teacher actually shops with us, so nice. she needs to get in here today. Yes. Um, more garlic, of course. I'll have you do that. And Let's go. It off. Um, I really do have one of those, Clint. I didn't know. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that could have been what shot me. That would have been not as good. That would have hurt, too. <laughs> no vampires, though. No vampires. That's right. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in here. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Um, and then we're going to use uh, one more. Garlic. One more, two yeah, times. Yeah. Um, we're also going to put in some anchovies. And you can, in, if you don't like anchovies, it's fine. You could use Worcestershire sauce. Um, don't tell them it's okay. It's fine. They need to learn it. to accept it. It's yeah. not going to taste if like anything. If they're hidden in there, your, your kids will never know. I love anchovies. They're in the stuffing. I just kind of mashed them up. They're, we'll mix it around a minute. And then, good. And then we're going to chop up some um, olives. Caramata olives that are. <laughs> they're really delicious. Yeah, they are. They're good. Oh, sorry, Chef. Okay. Right. Pull it together. <laughs> and so the Kalamata olives, and that's going to give it a nice briny taste. You can also use capers. You have capers. So nice. you could use capers. So those of you who are looking for an out right now, I don't like olives. I'm not eating an anchovy. Settle down. All right, this is going <laughs> to... This is gonna be part of the overall flavor of the dish. Think of anchovies and these olives as salt, yes. but as salt that have depth of flavor, has depth of flavor. The idea being, when you eat professional food, typically what you get is, like it's delicious up front, but then you get another note, and then yep. you get it's art, it's like music. Yeah. And it's an orchestra, right? So let a chef do that for you. Trust them when you can. And you don't really need to salt this because we're going to salt the fish. You're not going to put any salt in this because you have the brininess of the olives too, like you said. Right. So you Perfect. don't need that extra salt, which is not good for you. So um, a little bit more pepper from my handy 
Make the magic pepper grinder. I think you want to do that. Yeah. I definitely want to do this. <laughs> Father's Day. Can you change the coarseness too? You can. On the this top. is the jam. You charge it. It lasts forever. I'll put it on the list. I'll for sure lose the charge. Okay, that's but, enough. Okay, I'm really liking it. <laughs> and then lemon juice. Look out, Claire. Look out, Claire. Okay. <laughs> lemon juice. Just bring out your shirt. My eye. And then a little of the, the Omed. Good stuff, man. It is good stuff. Good stuff. Um, and a little bit of vinegar, just a tiny bit of vinegar. White wine or, or balsamic you can use, okay? And we're just going to mix that together. You okay. want to get in there. Let's go. Let's go. Breaking uh, up the anchovies. I could eat that all by itself. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then we are going to use your scampi butter. Yes. And this, all oh, this stuff. Like I, I said earlier, why make it when you can just get it here and it saves me time? It's too cheap to go make that mess in your kitchen. Like you gotta it's so, mince up garlic. It saves time. It saves time. Zest lemons. That's, I mean, it's like a production. It seems like a lot of butter, but it's gonna melt off into your and when you put it in the oven. So it's not really that much butter. Okay, and then these beautiful, these beautiful shrimp that you've got here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna just put a few of them. Um, those. Absolutely. I thought I was going to get away with it. You're going to make me. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you so, can use my nifty shun. Oh, let's go, shun. I've been saying shun all this time. You ought to see how I pronounce pho. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but I have to because every pho restaurant in Charlotte is named Pho King. What's up with that? Pho King. <laughs> I can't say it right. Stop. <laughs> Right, that's exactly what that's I like. I don't know what it is. I don't feel it's because it's Phuken, Thailand, too, so it's, you know, Phuken, Thailand. <laughs> so listen, guys, on these shrimp, and Chef Tilly, I'll share with you, you may have caught yeah. it, but our goal this year is we, you know, all the boats you go you go and see when you cross the yeah. bridges going into uh, our Carolina oh, seaports, yeah. they've been, a lot of them, tied up for the last five years with fuel prices. Mm. We're not doing it anymore. Like, our customers are spectacular. Um, we, I think we moved a, I mean, I know we moved more than one boat load of catch last week. We want to like reinvigorate that season. Nice. Yes. Nice. I love it. I love that you guys are doing that. And it's, um, I know your shrimp are incredible. The, the little diamonds. Oh, yeah, yes. they are diamonds. They are. Absolutely. They are. You know, you can add these right into here. Okay. Um, and it, if you ever had a ceviche before, it will, yes. if you let it sit for a while, it'll actually cook the shrimp in there with the lemon juice and the brine. Um, and that, I mean, it's almost like a little French ceviche, Vierge ceviche. Let's go. You want, Incredible. You want okay, then we're just going to take those little beauties, put them right inside. And um, we have enough herbs in there, so you're not going to need to add any more. Um, if you wanted to, you could add a couple lemon slices to the top of this, but I'm going to have you get that okay. twine, the twine right here. I trained for this. I, I got this shit. This, right? And this is just, it's just so fresh and delicious this dish it's a perfect summer dish set you, me up let's go you can actually throw this on the grill ready yeah and easy can feed two people for sure oh yeah this is where i'm gonna impress you i got this nice i won't hold it then. i think i got this oh come on don't screw it up clint this is what we trained for it's good it's good it's falling out but that's gonna happen she caught me Beautiful. I mean, it's going to set its form. You get this in the oven, you're good to go. Yeah. Okay, I, I didn't impress, but I'll get much better at it as we go. You're good. You're good. And so that's it. I mean, you could, you, I actually know it's not it. I have to put salt and pepper on the outside. So if you want to take the pepper mill again. I do. I can't I know wait you love to do that. that. Thing. You ready? Yep, go for it. Joe, you gotta nice. get an Amazon link it's out like for this magic. thing. People gotta have I, I, one of I have an Amazon link on my page. Oh, you do? Yeah, okay. Magic, if you want magic, that salt, magic. that salt, uh, the pepper thing, it's awesome. It's good for other herbs too, but it's mostly cool. Joe, speed of light, one more so, plate, just like that one. Yeah, Thanks, bro. Isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna bake this, and you said, or it could go on the grill. You can, you can bake it. Uh, same, actually, 375. Um, I would do it in cast iron. Again, if you have a cast iron, if not, just um, foil like cookie sheets. So gotcha. Grill it on the grill. Um, just want to be careful with the stuffing falling out. Yes. And um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Super so easy, right? What I would do Super is get one of these and one of these, and you have dinner for five people in your house that's already ready to go in the oven, right? Yeah. 
So listen, this is exactly what we had. Here's your knife, Sherry. Right. That the shoe. So a super high five to Chef yes. Tilly. Yes. If you need a private chef, you should look her up. If you just want to be entertained and look at great food, go follow her on the uh, internet. She's easy to find, Chef yes. Tilly, in all places, social media. Um, these are going to be prepared for you. All three stores, you can come in and say, give me two trout, give me three cod, I'm ready to go. All of them are going to be offered to you cheaper than Chinese food. We're going to, we, Elizabeth and I talked it out, we're going to make these affordable for you. And what we want is we want you to get this week kicked off right. All the markets are hopping, all of them ready to rip for you, and all of them featuring the world's best shrimp, the world's freshest uh, fish, and a wide variety of handmade sausages and steaks. We're doing it for you. We're doing it all week long. Hope you had a great weekend and took some time to remember on Memorial Day. Uh, going to be fun all week long. As always, you need hope, you're going to find it in our markets. If you need help, I want to know about it. And if you want the world's best groceries, come get them. That's all we got. Because we've got it cooked for you. Yo, come on. Great job.